Justin Stileman from Bell High School, and this is my prep profile. Justin, you're also a multiple sport athlete, soccer, basketball, and track. How did you select those three sports? Um, the, for soccer and basketball, both my older brothers did that. And for track, I just thought it would be fun, and I had friends that went out and did it, so I just tried it. What do you like about being a multiple sport athlete? Are you busy all the time? <laughs> I like that I can hang out with my friends throughout multiple sports and different avenues like track. You can hang out and talk more at, between your events and stuff. Is it about the best kept secret about track is that it's a social sport? Yeah. yeah. And boys and girls, there's just a lot of community. Yeah, and you can cheer on your other teammates as they do their events. Uh, do you have any uh, anybody that you're in all three sports with? Um, no. Or, I'm not. Usually one or two, or yeah, just a couple in each. Okay. Do you have a, a most inspirational teammate? Someone that's really yeah, Alex you? Gotch from soccer. He tore his ACL his junior year, and then halfway through his senior year, he hurt his knee again, and he just always came to all of our games and supported us. And I just liked how even though he was hurt and he wanted to be out there, he couldn't, but he still supported us. Now, uh, look at the sports, you're also, not, it's not just Belleville, it's a combination with, uh, it, both, it's both soccer and uh, track co-ops? Yeah, with the Glarus. With the Glarus. So, do you have New Glarus friends that you go up against with in basketball? Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite parts about playing New Glarus in basketball is going up against some of my friends that I know. Who has breaking rights right now? Uh, we both won one game this year, so. So you're both happy, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, how would you get started with sports? I guess what's the first thing that you did, and how did that impact on, on, on you? Uh, well, the first thing I did was just watching my brothers grow up and play sports, and then I finally had the chance to play with, like soccer with my dad as a coach, and I just loved it. How long did your dad coach? Did he coach in all in, in, in basketball too? Yeah. And what was that? Yeah. That what was that like? That was great. I really like my dad, and I like having him, him there and being able to work on stuff at home even after like practice is done. And he, he coached your brothers too, so you got to tag along for that and yeah. saw how that was. Yeah. And it's kind of wait your turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You said your older brothers are your role models. Yep. That uh, Ross and Tommy. How uh, how much older? Tommy's three years older and Ross is six years older. What do they teach you? Is, uh, sometimes big brothers pick on little brothers and other times they're, they're a little bit more nurturing. Uh, what do they teach you in particular? Uh, mostly just not to give up because like, I'd play them in like one-on-one -on -one in basketball and they'd beat me a lot, but sometimes I'd beat them and so I just wouldn't give up and, until I beat them. When you started beating them, did they stop playing you then a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh no, we, we, we can't pick on a little brother anymore. Yeah. I got older. Uh, it's a favorite athlete, Monte Ball. Now, uh, so are you hoping he becomes a Green Bay Packer? Yeah, I am. I really like how he runs and how he's gotten better over the years. And, you know, obviously he's a Heisman candidate, and I hope he does good in the NFL. He's been a pretty good uh, person there for the university, too. Yeah. Like uh, the interviews and stuff he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. A oh, favorite fast food, Culver's. Okay, what's your favorite menu or your uh, favorite meal? I guess. Um, I don't know, just a burger, but I like the um, concrete mixer that they have. That you can mix different stuff in. That's a good place to hang out with your friends too. Yeah, there's one in New Glarus, so then we can go there and hang out with New Glarus people and Bellwood people. Okay. Um, said uh, words to live by: work smarter, not harder. Where did you get that from? Uh, my middle school teacher and freshman year track coach, Mr. Gentili, told me that. And, I don't know, I just felt right because you can work as hard or work, you know, as hard as you want, but then if you're not doing the right thing, then it won't help you at all. They said your uh, favorite songs, anything by Taylor Swift. So, what, have you seen her in concert or is that? I haven't, but I hope to do it sometime. Okay. What do you like about her? Just a, just a great singer? Yeah, okay. just a good singer. Okay. Um, what do you think you've learned? What do you think sports has taught you? you know, having older siblings and your, your dad, I'm sure there's certain things you picked up there. How, how do you think that shaped your, you know, your school and, and everything else? Um, pretty much just being a teammate and making the 
extra effort to help everyone else and make them better, and then that would make your team better overall. It's the most memorable moment winning conference two years in soccer. Yeah. And what was that like? Um, it was really cool. We got to ride in the fire truck because we won conference, and even though it was really cold, it was still fun because you got to enjoy it with your teammates. Now, actually, you competed against bigger schools, and you've never yeah. been around. What's the advantage of competing in sports in a smaller school? Is there a lot? You feel a lot more sense of community being here. Yeah, I know a lot of the people that come to our games and watch them, and then like the student sections and stuff. We all know each other, and then we can talk with each other. You said you wish you could play beach volleyball. So you like to? If you had money, that's what you'd add to the repertoire here. Yeah, I I just think with being in sand and trying to jump and play around and stuff, it'd be really difficult, but I think it'd be fun. It'd be a short season though, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> with our weather. Uh, for you, what's uh, having to go between seasons and sports? How are the sports that you compete in compatible, and what do you like about uh, being in multiple? Well, you just have to stay in shape basically all year long, and even in the off season, you have to still stay in shape so that you're ready for the next season. You've been a uh, volunteer for a number of things. Uh, what, uh, what's the most rewarding for you about being a volunteer? And you, you said you've done th some things with Second Harvest and with bas basketball. Um, just with like basketball, I get to watch the little kids play basketball and, and watch them grow up and know that I was once one of them. And I, you know, even though they're not the best right now, that they can be better in the future. You remember now being their age and looking up to the older guy, now you're one of those guys? Yeah. What's that like? I think it's really cool because they were kind of like a role model for me, seeing them in high school and watching them play different sports. And I just think it's cool that you can see that in a small community. Now it says, did you know you got to bike down a volcano in Hawaii? So obviously family trip to Hawaii? Yeah. And what was where did you go or how did that come about? Um, I don't know. My mom just kind of did it and... Signed, up, signed us up for it, and we got to get up at 2 in the morning to go to the, see a sunrise on the volcano and then walk and then bike down it. But the only thing was that it was raining that day, so we didn't get to see the sunrise, and so we just had to bike, just got to bike down it, but it was still really cool. So you like to go back to Hawaii sometime? Yeah, someday. Any place in the world, if you could go to, that you haven't been that you like to go to? Probably Switzerland, because that's where like my dad's side of the family is from. And I just want to see where, see relatives that I have over there and stuff. And uh, you'd like to pursue accounting? Yep. And uh, find a job that allows you to live comfortably. <laughs> That's smart. All right. Um, for you, what's uh, when you look back on your time at Belleville, how has this community shaped you? And what are you going to remember the most? Um, I think I'm going to remember all the friends and stuff that I've made and the coaches that have helped me throughout the years. And like I've known the coaches even before high school because of such a small community and stuff that we can do camps and stuff and really get to know everyone.